Hey fellas, how you doing? Just sorry, I'm just getting in focus there. This is a pain, that's all right. I wanna talk about a concept. I wanna share a concept with you guys in this video. Concept is about getting, attracting your ideal woman. I'm also gonna be talking about why most men, like loads of men, I don't mean this harshly because I don't like saying it in that way, it sounds a bit vindictive. Most men will not attract their ideal woman. Obviously, at their own fault. They won't do it. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because most people... Most people bullshit themselves. Me included. All of us. Most people know exactly what they got to do. But they're too frightened of it. It's too... It's too truthful. It's too hurtful. It's too honest. And people don't want to face the honesty. They don't want to face the honest truth of what they need to do in order to achieve their goal. I've been here myself many times. Something that we all, if we're being honest, we all struggle with it, myself included. However, when I've really wanted to do something and I really dedicate myself and I set everything aside, I will achieve it and I've, and I've done it. So I want to talk about a concept, an idea, a principle. I don't know what the name is. I just want to share it as to what you need to do to attract the right woman. I'm using a beautiful woman or the right woman as a metaphor for you changing your life because that's what you need to do. That's it, that's the secret. When I first came online, I got sick and tired of people not being honest, not telling the truth or giving part part of the truth, but not just not giving the full extent. People online were saying, in order for me to become the man I want to become and to attract my perfect woman, all I need to do is follow this step-by-step -step sequence method. I've never taught that because it's bollocks. Let's get straight to the point. And it's lying to people. It's dishonest. Or at least it's not, it's not fully informing people. I've always done things the hard way. That's the same way I've taught. That's why I've always done mostly long-term programs. Six weeks programs, 12 weeks programs. Or if people are going to want to work with me short-term, I'm going to say... Well, this is the likelihood in what you're going to achieve. If you work with me for two hours, it's going to be a great experience. It's really going to wake you up. It's going to expose your weaknesses and it's going to point out your strengths. But there's going to be a lot more work ahead. I don't see that as a bad thing. I really, I've really, i always liked the truth. Even with the work I've been doing with my mentor, we've been working together for now over a year. It's life-changing. But I knew that I, I needed to invest some time. I, I need to invest everything in this. And this is why most men don't do it. They won't do it. What tends to happen is, when we have a goal, we have, um, we have two ideas. The first idea is the intuitive feeling. We know that it's going to take a lot of work. We know that we've got to work our fucking ass off. Um, sorry, my French, to achieve it. But we get afraid. We get jealous. We get envious. We think, well, why, why don't I have it? Why has this guy got this beautiful woman? He's got a great life. And I'm stuck with me. And part of our ego comes up, our insecurity, and we think, I, I, I don't need to do that. We'll find a million excuses as to why we're not going to do it, because we're frightened. We're no different to that guy in the sense that we've got 24 hours in a day, we breathe the same air, we bleed the same blood, we go to the toilet, we eat, but we've not made the adjustments. Okay, maybe he was more secure. Maybe he was born into a family that had more money. Okay, that's life, that's life for you. Someone's always going to have more or less. Maybe he worked his ass off. Maybe you didn't see what he had to go through to become the man he is today and to attract that type of woman. Maybe they just met on online dating and maybe they both got issues but they, they're in love with each other. Who knows? Who cares? I mean, it's inspiring but what, getting jealous won't change it. I've made all these mistakes myself in the past. Got jealous, got annoyed, made me feel vulnerable, made me feel all these feelings. But... When I, I wanted to achieve something, same with my business or my idea, I was willing to go through hell to get there and I achieved it. By the time I achieved it, I went through so much to get there, I thought to myself, fucking hell, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. But on, I'm just kind of saying that because I worked so hard to get there that I almost overworked. Like I, I worked so hard that my, my work ethic became more valuable than the goal itself and that excites me. And that's what I really want to share with you. To get the things we want to get, we've got to work so hard 
that our goal becomes secondary to the hard work ethic that we work to make that goal. I know that doesn't make sense, but I know it makes sense. So that's why I've always said, enjoy the process. Because the process is the time that you invest and it's what you get out of that time, the character, the character that it builds within yourself as a man. It will actually lead on to other goals. So I'm actually saying it's bad to objectify women and to have this dissonance, have this angry feeling, this, oh, she's the woman over here. I, I see a woman as a great metaphor. I see a beautiful woman as a reflection as, as what is beautiful in myself and as, as also where I'm flawed. I said to a student the other day, if a goal doesn't make me insecure, it's not worth the goal. Any goal in my life that I want to achieve that doesn't make me terrified, anxious, insecure, waste of fucking time. It's a waste of time. It's not even worth aiming for because it's got no value in it. And that's how women made me feel. They made me feel insecure. They made me feel really unmanly. They made me question my whole existence. And that's why I practice for eight to 12 hours on the streets of London. I work so hard. Now, yes, I've admitted openly, I made, some, I made a lot of mistakes. I cheated, I lied. But at the end of the day, I achieved my goal. Now, I'm not, I'm not by any means saying for my followers to cheat and lie. My whole message has changed, but I'm just making a point. I slept with lots of attractive women. I slept with women that most men would, would be dying to get in ratio with. But I made, them, I made more mistakes because I placed women on a pedestal. You shouldn't place anyone on a pedestal. And I seen, I didn't treat them very nice. I didn't treat myself nice because I didn't follow my intuition. My intuition told me to meet a beautiful, nice woman that I trust and I want to spend time with and love and introduce to my friends and family. I have to become that person. But because deep down I was too afraid to fully make that, you know, change out every area, I, I shortcutted myself. So yeah, in some areas I played, you know, I know I'm not making sense, but I'm trying to, I'm getting, it's hard to explain these concepts, they're deep, so sorry guys, bear with me. I took shortcuts in some of the areas and it backfired on me. So yes, I did sleep with very attractive women, but the contradiction was I wasn't happy in the relationships. I couldn't trust them and I didn't trust myself because I didn't work on other areas. So if you want to meet this woman who's beautiful, you've got to change your whole life. You've got to change everything. I'm going to be straight. You're not going to want to hear this. And I didn't want to hear this, but you guys want the truth. You want to get the best results. This is what I teach. I teach raw honesty. You're probably going to have to find that you're going to have to change your whole social circle. You're going to have to change your whole identity. You're going to change the whole way that you see the world. You're going to have to change your attitude towards women. You're going to have to stop hating women and start loving women and not seeing them as separate. When you make these adjustments, and you change all these things in you, and you put the hours in and the dedication, and I'm gonna just be straight. You're probably gonna have to get a mentor, a life coach. You're probably gonna have to hire someone like myself who's an expert in this area and knows what they're doing. Because if you don't, you won't do it, or you're gonna get around people that are not gonna have the right attitude, they're not gonna do it, and it's not gonna happen. And, and I, wish, I wish someone gave me this advice when I first started. I wish someone said, you know what, Johnny? You have to invest money in a mentor. But when I think about it, I'd done all these things because I had Floyd to start with. Okay, I didn't pay Floyd, but it was time money. We, we went out and um, it wasn't that, we had a great friendship, but somewhere down the line I had to invest. The same way now that I've invested with Jeff, I invested in myself. The, the amount of hours I spent on the streets in London, the buying the food, the travel, changing my fashion, in the end, you've got to invest. You, have, you can't get away from spending money. You cannot get away from spending time and these are good things, but most people don't want to see that. People don't want to see the reality. They want to believe that, you know, just doing a boot camp or just trying to buy a product. And I run weekend courses as well, and they're very important and they are life changing, but you have to invest everything to get good at this. All the guys that have done my six weeks program that have made life changing results, or who work with me for 12 weeks, who have got a girlfriend who changed their life, they, they've not just invested their time with me and money, they've invested outside, they're, they're still practicing it. This never ends, it's life investment. I'm still investing in myself and um, I'm single and I'm working my ass off, working on myself. But I, I've got that out of my system. I achieved all those petty, small, egotistical goals like sleeping with lots of women, I did that. And it made me realize that there was still more work to be done. So I'm honest with myself and this is what gives me satisfaction. So if you can be honest about your goals, if you can actually 
cut the bullshit and put the time in, you're changing your life. So, so it's almost like, as you're going towards your goal, that's your happiness, that's your significance, that's your purpose. So it no longer becomes this tacky, egotistical, self-sabotaging, look at me, it becomes more than the woman. And again, it's not placing women higher or lower than men. And I think most women would be very happy for a man to view his goals in this way. Because women are actually attracted to a man who is in the process of getting his shit together. That's why at the moment, and I don't say this to be arrogant, I'm very attractive to women. Because I've got integrity, I'm working on myself, I'm, I'm doing something good in the world, I'm helping other men. I'm also admitting that I've got insecurities as well. But I'm not hiding them, I'm, I'm, they're part of who I am. I'm, what could be better than a man who's honestly working with himself? So, much better to be in the process of working towards the man you want to become and the woman that you want to attract than just sitting there or cheating your way. And I'm telling you this because it's coming from 10 years experience. Someone that made many mistakes and done shortcuts and did things right. And I said it to my friend on the phone today. He was asking me about how do I meet the right woman or is it, should I stop seeing different women? I just said, look, we attract what we are. So I'm very soon enough, I'm gonna attract a woman like me. Who's And what am I like now? I'm honest, I'm clean living. I still do make mistakes, but on a whole, I'm an honest man and I feel confident in myself. So very lightly, I'm gonna, it's, it's, it's the laws of nature and science. So what I'm saying is, and I'm just gonna be straight, and it may be hard to hear this guys, and I'm sorry if it hurts you, but if you're insecure right now and life ain't going bad, I mean life ain't going well, and you're not working, you're not gonna meet a quality woman in this current state you're in. I'm sorry, that's the truth, and that's the best life coaching I could give. And that's why you have to get your shit together. You have, and, and if you can accept that, I know it's a body but it can hurt, because it's like someone coming over and bursting your bubble, but that's the best life coaching and dating advice I could give you because a woman's not going to go out of a man who is not on her level. And I don't mean that in a, in a hierarchy way, but I mean that in self-esteem energy and women can sense it. When I found this truth, do you, know how long it, do you know how long it took me to admit to this truth? Now. Ten years it took me. Because I fucked around. I, was, I didn't want to see it. And I was a teacher myself. And I've got people, you know, like... Even when I try to tell students, they don't want to hear it. It's like, okay, but yeah, but what's the quick method? I'm like, no, no, there's no quick fix. My teaching is something that you can't put a time on it. Yes, working with me for six weeks is gonna massively improve your life. It may happen in six weeks, but there's no guarantees. I can't, I can't do that, I, I'm not a god. But giving you the truth is the best thing because the truth, the truth will set you free. The truth will put you on the right path to make these changes. So I don't care if it's gonna take me another four years to meet the right woman. I don't care if it's gonna take five years, I'd rather it happen today. But if that means me meeting the woman of my dreams and being happy, great. And just the pursuit of happiness makes me happy. So, but people are afraid to do it. People are afraid to admit the truth and say it's gonna take longer. Sometimes it's gonna take quicker. I've worked with students and they've met their perfect partner in a couple of weeks. Cause sometimes, you know, some people believe in there's no luck, we make our own luck. And I've got loads of men into relationships, but you have to be realistic. But at the same time, you have to be unrealistic. But, you know, I'm just being straight. You have to make massive changes. And like I said, it probably means, because if you're struggling, that means you're a social circle struggling. It's very rare that you have a social circle of people and f three people are doing amazing and one is not. They wouldn't be in the same pack. We always orbit where we're at vibrationally spiritually, psychologically, it's very, very rare, very rare. That's why even when I hanged out with Floyd, I wasn't on the same level of, as he was with women, but eventually I catched up. Even if you're a little bit less, he was always ahead of me, but I, I, he, he brought me up to speed. And then I started to teach other men, I started to bring them up to speed where I'm at. Some of them have outdone me now, some of them on the same level, So, but you can just keep working on it. And in the end, what it's exciting to tell you is, there's actually no competition. So I get people saying, right, to be saying they're jealous of me, but you don't need to be jealous of me because if you just focus on you and work on yourself, I won't, you'll knock me out of competition. You'll knock the next guy out. Then you realize there is no competition because I only want one woman. So how could I be competition for anyone? I just want one woman in the whole world who's gonna be right for me. That's, and I'm very picky and so should you be. But if you shortcut yourself and bullshit yourself, what most people do within that, and I did it, they sleep with lots of women that they don't really have a good connection with. 
I slept with loads of attractive women. I slept with women that you could call nines, tens, eights, and I don't like labeling women. But character-wise, ethics, values, we wasn't right. If we were right, she'd be here with me now, wouldn't she? She's not here. Where's all the women I slept with? I'm not feeling, sometimes I do feel sorry for myself. I wanna to cry, to be honest, but, <laughs> but that's all right, I've got the truth. None of them are here. All the women I slept with, loads of beautiful women from all around the world, different shapes and sizes, very attractive, but I, I wasn't fully honest, and that's why they're not here. Hello, where are you, women, women? <laughs> they're gone, they're not here. So I, I'm not blaming them, I blame myself, I bring it back to me, so I'm continuing, continuing to work on that goal. And that's why, I'm in a, that's why I'm in a great position to teach people to change their life. But my work is really about changing you. I don't really teach men anymore how to get good with women. I teach men how to get good with them. Because when you get good with you, you have got so much access to the right woman. And I know I've got evidence of this. I've got proof of myself to share with you because I get women writing to me, wanting to go out of me and they, they're attracted to me because they see me on YouTube, they see what I'm doing, it's attractive or... There's massive options, but it doesn't make a difference to me because I want the right woman. So I don't care if a hundred women are attracted to me. I want to meet one right woman. So I'm in a very, very good place, but it's also a very lonely place because if you've got loads of choice, and you're consciously making an effort to narrow it down to one person, of course, there's, I've got to be patient. So this is gonna to speak to lots of people at different stages of their development, where they're at. But if you're at a base level, and I know how you feel, and I'm not judging you, and I'm not being horrible or unkind, I'm just giving you the honest truth, because it's something I wish was, would have been told to me. And the 67 step methods do not work with you getting your ideal woman. They may get, They'll get you into bed with a few women here and there, but you will never be happy. And I'm all, this year especially, I'm all about cutting the bullshit, giving the full extent of the truth, letting people process the truth, go away and get in a game plan, and having a mentor, and working for me if you wanted to and you thought we'd be right for each other for six weeks, would massively fast track you and get you towards working on your goal and getting close to that. Remember what I said, the process becomes more important than the goal. And if you think that's contradiction and that doesn't make sense, that's fine. You don't have to agree with me. You can try it for yourself. So I'm still on this process and they all say the journey is not the destination. So I get excited and I fall into that sometimes and I think, oh, this woman and how she looks and how she smells. But I'm enjoying the process because the character, and I'm just gonna use the word what I wanna use, what God's shaping me into as a teacher and a student, as a man, a partner, and how I'm helping you guys to shape very beautiful men, very attractive, very honest men, very aligned men, men of integrity, men of truth, men that are still working on themselves. And this is a, this is till the day we die. I spoke to Jeff today and I said, this is never gonna end, is it, Jeff? This is, and he said, no, but if you wanna keep growing, Johnny, you want nice things in your life, you keep doing the work. And, you, and he's helping me to do the same. I've got a mentor to help me to cut out all the areas in my life where I'm letting myself down or I'm putting, you know, put, bullshit in so that's what I do for my students as well and it's kind of it's a coincidence because when you work so fucking hard and this I'm saying this from pain and stress you will attract so many women and you don't even want it does that make sense it's the same thing with money people that struggle with money when you work so hard in your business and you give so much honest value money just starts getting thrown your way then then you appreciate the value of money but I'll leave it there because I'll go into another area for another video so I hope I got across the message I wanted to stress. I know it's not the most conventional way, the way I do my videos, but I'm not changing them. I'm gonna stay more and more honest and natural. And this is the same way I speak to people when I meet them. And I'm just kind of confessing this to myself because I, I really struggled for a long time in doing my videos, you know, because I tried to fit my videos in a way that was like everyone else, but I, I can't do that to teach this message. So out all the stuff I said, it comes back to one thing. It's back to self-love. It's back to integrity, it's back to honesty, and it's about being honest in your relationships and having honest relationships with women. I'm doing this because I care about you, and I made all these mistakes, and I know this is what you want deep down. I'm also excited if you don't like my video, if you think what this guy's saying is a load of bullshit, he doesn't know what he's on about, he's too spiritual, he's too righteous, or he's too honest, I just wanna stick with loads of women. That's exciting as well, because if you go and do that, eventually you'll come back to this truth, you'll come on this video, it'll be relevant. So there's no right or wrong, it's your choice but I would advocate all my followers to not cheat on any women, to have integrity and to not cheat themselves. I'm gonna keep putting this message home because um, it's easier said than done. And that's why I'm single right now. I'm single because I'm confident. I'm single because I'm secure. 
and I'm single because I respect women and I want to meet the right woman. So it's the right thing to do and it's difficult, but the difficult is always the most rewarding. And um, my days are over of all this cheating and sleeping with different women because that actually fucks up your goal, gets in the way of meeting the right woman because you corrupt yourself, you ruin your relationships, you damage your own self-esteem and you live a lie. So I'll stop it there. But yeah, I really enjoyed that video. I wanted to stress that. And uh, I just want to spend more time talking to you guys and, and counseling you and shaping you into the man that I know that you want to become. And with my help, whether it's going to be in person, working on a six weeks program or just over YouTube, I'm going to help you to achieve that. And you'll be thankful when you do it and you won't need to go out and meet loads of women. You will have the, um, you'll have the self-esteem to meet the right woman. Last message I'm going to leave because more things are coming. Of course, if it's not the right woman, and people say to me, okay, Johnny, but what if the woman cheats on me or what if the relationship falls apart? That's unfortunate, and I don't want that to happen to anyone. If that does happen, you'll have the self-esteem confidence to go and meet someone else and meet the right woman, all right? I'll speak to you soon.